upon a time. Looks like she's gonna turn cold tomorrow. Yeah, you got that right. There was a salesman called Jerry Lundergaard. Oh, okay, real good. Who always dreamt of striking it rich. We have you had a chance to think about that deal I was talking about, those 40 acres there in Wyzetta? Jerry, we're not gonna just give you $750,000. No, no, but see, I... <laughs> So, we all set on this thing then? You want your own wife kidnapped. <laughs> Not her dad. He's real well off. So, why don't you just ask him for the money? <laughs> Han? Wait, it's Jerry. I don't know what to do. It's something hard, geez. It's terrible. But in a place called Fargo... Mr. Lundegaard, I'm a police officer. I'm a brainer. Investigating some malfeasance. Anything can happen. How's Jean? Who's Jean? <laughs> My wife. Oops. All due respect, Jerry, I don't want you mucking this up. The heck do you mean? No, Gene. No money. Who are you? Circumstances have changed, Jerry. What the heck do you mean? Blood has been shed, Jerry. Here's the second one. I want you to tell me what these fellows look like. Well, the little guy, he was kind of funny looking. Can you be any more specific? He wasn't circumcised. Jeez, that's a good thing. Yeah. From the creators of Barton Fink. I'm cooperating here. And there, there's no, uh... And Raising Arizona. What have you fellas got yourself mixed up in? Oh, jeez. You're there in 30 minutes where I find you, Jerry, and I shoot you, and I shoot your wife, and I shoot all your little children, and I shoot all the back of the little kids. You got it? You should shoot your head guy. Oh, jeez. Fargo. End of story.